Welcome to the Automation Zone. In today's tutorial, we will learn what is a relative locator. In our previous two sessions, we have learned what is an XPath and what is a CSS. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to identify an element with the help of some other element or an element relative to it. If you haven't watched out the videos of CSS and XPath already, I will be giving the link in the description below. Now, in order to understand the relative locators, let us open up an example or a website like this one right here, which is a simple calculator. Again, the link of this website I will be giving in the description as well. Now, assume that you want to click any of these buttons right here. Now, the way I've designed this is all of the buttons over here have got a similar structure. They all have an input tag and the value of it would be the value seen on the screen. So this here would be an input with the value 5 and this here would be an input with the value 2 and so on for all the buttons present on the screen. So let us write a simple code maybe to click on the number 5. So open up Eclipse and as you can see I have already gone ahead and written a simple startup script where I'm opening Chrome and I'm opening this specific URL which you have just seen. If you do not know how to do this, I will be giving the link of that in the description as well. So in order for me to click on the number five, what I have to type is driver dot find element the class by by xpath. Okay, we can use anything. We can use xpath or CSS. I prefer to use xpath. So by xpath, the xpath would be an input tag with the value equal to 5 because I want to click on the button 5 and then dot click a very simple script right let me save this and let me run this code now if you can see let me just zoom in a bit here the number 5 has already been clicked now we are going to perform the exact same example assuming you do not have any property for the number 5. Achieving this would be a two-step process. Step number one would be to tell Selenium what is the tag of the element which you want to identify. Now if you come back to our calculator here, the number 5 here has got the tag input. Now note that even if an element does not have any property, it at least needs to have the tag. So this element here has got the tag input. The second step would be to tell Selenium that where is the element relative to some other element. What I mean is the element phi here is maybe um, below which element, above which element, left of or right of which elements. A better way to explain this would be with the help of an uh, visual example here. So assuming that uh, you have identified or you know the properties of the element 2, you could tell Selenium that hey, uh, I know the number 2 here. I want to find the element having an input tag which is below 2. And then all of these elements would be identified. Then, now this is not going to help you, right? Because uh, you want the number 5. Then you could go on a bit further and say, okay, I also know the element uh, number 4 here. And I want to find the element which is to the right of the number 4. And then you will get these set of elements. And as you can see, the nearest element over here, which is below 2 and to the right of 4, is number 5. And that's how you would be able to identify the number 5. Now, if you can see here, apart from number 5, all the other elements would also be identified. So it is not a foolproof method, but it definitely would help you in some circumstance. Now let us see this with the help of the example. So this is a code for clicking on the element. We'll just modify this. So we are going to type here driver dot find element. Now this time instead of typing the class by we are going to use a class relative locator. So R E L A T I V E locator dot the moment you type relative locator dot you'd be able to see two options here so one one the first one is relative by and the second one is with tag name so make sure you are selecting the second one which is by tag name 
and within your parentheses you have to specify which tag so as we have seen earlier the first step was the tag name which is input okay um, now the moment you type a dot after this you would be getting various options it's above below etc now if you come back over here you would see that this element here is below the element number two so let us come back over here so input dot below now for the sake of this example uh, just note that you can take this below as well like this so below below which element we are going to identify our element with the help of any of the locators let us try xpath for now so below the element located by xpath and the xpath is input with value equal to 2 here we go so it is this element is below the element with the value 2 now if I were to just run this it would not give me the right option so in fact let me go and run this and show you what do we get dot click what do you think we should get as you can see here it has clicked on the number 4 why has it done that so if I go back to my slides and if I go one step above now what I've told is I want to click on the element with the input tag which is below 2 now below 2 all of these elements come now the way selenium reads some uh, reads elements would be from the left to the right from the top to the bottom so this here would be our first element second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth and so on so forth and selenium is going to click on the very first element which is the number four and as you can see my example right here it has clicked on the number four now what we're going to do here is uh, we are going to uh, tell selenium to go a bit further and we are going to identify the number four and say we want the element which is on the right hand side of number four and which is below number two let us come back over here so we want to the right to the right of the element located by the x path in fact let me copy the same x path right here but this time instead of the number two we want the number four let me save this and let me run this and as you can see in this time it has gone ahead and clicked on the number 5 which is exactly what we wanted now I also did mention to you that it is not just going to locate one element but all of these elements right here as well correct so let us um, verify this as well so what I should be expecting is an output with the number 5 followed by 6 and minus 8 9 plus 0 equal and then the star so in order for me to print all the elements out I do not need to just do driver dot find element but find elements number one uh, let me just copy this piece of code again below so what I want is find elements or to remove out this click right here next I want to save all of these elements in some kind of variable right so let me make a list of web elements so web elements is equal to and let me give a name for this let me give this name as okay elements uh, I also have to okay, so elements is element okay that makes sense and now I would want to iterate all of these uh, this list of elements and print out all of the values because as we have seen earlier that all of these buttons here have got a value which corresponds to the number correct so we type a for loop over here so for a for loop for loop of what for loop of 
web element uh, let me give a name for this web element uh, let me give this name as button and I'm iterating what I'm iterating these elements right here or this list right here then I'm going to say that for each iteration I want to type in what so system output and within system output I would want to print out each element or each buttons property so get attribute which attribute the value correct and if I save this and if I run this well it should give me all the elements in that specific order which we just spoke about earlier so let me come back to Eclipse and as you can see 5 6 minus 8 9 plus and if I open up um, the PowerPoint presentation you would see 5 6 minus 8 9 plus followed by 0 equal star which is 0 equal star Now the last thing which I want to show you all is uh, what's the practical use of because um, uh, as you can see here uh, that although you could identify the number 5 here uh, it's not that uh, precise right it can make mistakes so I would not recommend you all to use it everywhere but there are definitely some instances where uh, it can be used so let us have a look at that So this here guys would be a proper example. Now if you can see here, uh, don't go on the numbers. Assume that you have a web page with all of these elements. You know, you might have menus, you might have certain pictures, certain text, etc, etc. However, in your entire web page, in one corner, you have an element with no properties. As well as on the other corner of the website, you have a different element with again no property. Now in this case, if I were to simply tell Selenium that hey, find an element which is above 38, there would be only one element called as A, which is the one that you want here. In the same way, if I would tell Selenium that hey, find an element which is below 72, again, you'd only get one element which is the element A, which is below right here in this corner of the screen. So by utilizing relative locators in this specific way, you would not encounter issues which we encountered earlier where you have a bunch of elements and you might not be certain if it is selecting the right one or not. Even if you do make a mistake, for example, I want to click an element or find the element which is below 18, you'd be dead sure that the element, the first element below 18 would definitely be this one right here, which is the one which you want. And then way below you be having the other element which is this one right here so the first element would always be the element which is required by you that's it guys for this tutorial on relative locators i've got a whole lot of other tutorials as well which i've lined up for you which are, are i think so around 30 or 35 such topics right here due to shortage of time i'm not able to you know um, prepare them on time but I definitely will try as for this tutorial if you have any questions you know do comment down below and I'll help you out and uh, you know please show support for this channel by you know, liking this video sharing this video and subscribe to this channel and the bell icon guys I mean do click on it it will really help me out thank you